mountains is a powerful weapon in the life of the believer to radically transform his Christian experience. Many times as Christians, we neglect to understand and realize the power that we have in Christ through prayer. Welcome to another Monday Chill, and I trust you're doing well and you are growing in your relationship with Jesus Christ. For the month of April, we embark on a journey, mountain moving prayers. Let us begin with our first mountain moving prayer scenario. This leads us to the book of Ezra, Ezra chapter 8. Let me read verse 23 for you. So we fasted and entreated our God for this, and he answered our prayer. Here is the background to this prayer. The exiles, after 70 years of captivity, were moving from Babylon to Jerusalem, and King Artaxerxes gave permission for that. They are going to move with little children, senior citizens, and material possessions. It is a long journey, more than 700 miles long. There is a problem. That very journey is very dangerous. It is filled with bandits and gangsters, persons who will plunder these, these, these sojourners as they move to Jerusalem. They will never make it through. They have two options here. To either rely on the king's promise, King Artaxerxes' promise, to offer protection to them, or rely on God. Well, I will tell you, Ezra had already informed the king that we don't want your protection because the Lord our God is able to do that for us. Well, the time came. They prayed mountain-moving prayers at the river of Ahava, read it in the text. And the Lord listened to their entreaty, and he answered their prayers. This seemed impossible. Others before them had much difficulties. But these people under the leadership of Ezra were going to do this through mountain-moving prayers. What do we learn from this experience? One, it is better to rely on the arm of God than to rely on the arm of flesh. Number two, they approach God with confidence. Ezra said, we know our God will deliver us. And this is something that we need to have confidence in the abilities of God. And three, they were bold enough to call a solemn assembly to pray. Brothers and sisters, those who are listening to Monday Chill, there are sometimes in your life you need to pray mountain-moving prayers, either for your, your, your child, your son who has not returned to church, or your family, your finances, your church, the situations that you are plagued with. I will tell you, the Lord is still in the business of answering prayer. And when he does answers, oh my, our lives are radically transformed. We feel loved and appreciated. We feel special. And today I'm hoping that you will have this special experience, even this week, as you pray mountain-moving prayers. God bless you as you go throughout this week. Remember to like us, leave a comment, and if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Bye-bye, and see you next week for another Monday Chill.